Aw, hey there, friends. I know you've all been really bored and lonely without having visitors, so I figured I'd come and read you one of my favorite true stories about the ocean. It all begins in the mesopelagic zone. At a depth of 200 to 1200 meters, this area of the ocean is deep, dark, cold, and lonely. But for Taco and Bo, it's also home. Taco and Bo are lanternfish, the most abundant fish in the ocean. However, of all the lanternfish in the sea, Taco and Bo are the best of friends. Most refer to them as the Mezzo Pals. These two best friends were under a lot of pressure. Pressure of the deep sea, but also pressure to find food for themselves every single day. Oh my god, I am so hungry! Me too. All I've eaten today are a few morsels of detrital snow. But hopefully we will find something tonight. My parents told me that there is going to be a huge buffet tonight. Buffet? Are you talking about the migration? I don't know about any migration, but my parents did say that we would have to swim a ways to get up there. It sounded kind of fun. Fun? No way! They're talking about swimming hundreds and hundreds of meters up to the epipelagic zone! The epi-what? The epipelagic zone? The surface of the ocean where there's sunlight? With all that light, there's definitely a buffet of plankton, but there's also bigger, hungry predators that can see me! I'm not going. That is too scary. Yeah, you're right. Better unfed than dead. Who's that over there? It's me, Old Man Squid. I couldn't help but over here. What Bo is talking about is the Dial Vertical Migration. So you've heard of it? You bet your backbone I have. Every single day, as the sun sets, millions of creatures travel hundreds of meters to get to the epipelagic zone. Once there, they can eat as much as their bellies can hold. What, what about all the sunlight and the big, hungry predators? Well, that's the beauty of the sun setting. When the sun sets, the epipelagic zone more closely resembles the depths of the ocean as there's not much light up there at night. This makes it harder for predators to see you. So, all the predators go away at night? Well, not all the predators. But I actually have to be going now. I have to prepare for the migration myself. Take care, you two, and maybe I'll see you up there. All day, the Mesopels went without eating and in the lonely deep sea could easily hear their tummies growling. See, Bo? There are still predators out there that want to eat me and you! We are not going, and that is final. I know we said we aren't going, but I'm getting hungry. Maybe we can find someone to bring us some of their extra snackos? Taco and Bo swam up to Mr. Copapod. Hey, Mr. Copapod. Are you going to the Great Migration tonight? I am. It's my favorite part of the day. Never have you seen such a spread of the most delicious treats. It's glorious. Uh, do you think when you come down from the service that, uh, you could bring us some extra food? No way, fish A! It's every fish for themselves up there! How would you expect me to carry it? With my fins? <laughs> How does such a tiny organism like you steer clear of all the big, scary predators? Well, you see, we all go up together. There are so many other creatures up there. <laughs> this is why it is known as the Great Migration. And as we all know, there's safety in numbers. Sounds like a delicious spread for the predators to me. It does seem that way. But many of the predators are hiding at night or can't see as well as us. Us mesofolk are much more adapted to the dark conditions, and it gives us an advantage. And by traveling in such a massive group, <laughs> your chances of even seeing a predator reduce dramatically. I don't know if it's because I'm hungry or not, but that makes a lot of sense to me. I don't know. I'm still feeling pretty uneasy, but I am getting so hungry. Uh, Taco, has it occurred to you that if we don't go... We'll be left down here all alone, and I I'm just so hungry. I don't know if I can go another day on just a tridal snow. Safety in 
numbers. I hadn't really thought about that. Maybe Grandfather Squid is right. We can stay together, and we'll be safe if we're in the crowd. I'll watch your coddle fin. You watch mine. All right. We can do this. I'll race you to the top! I think we're getting close! I found a plankton! Yummy! Holy mackerel! They're everywhere! This isn't so bad. It actually is pretty dark up here. These epipelagic predators ain't got nothing on us up here when it's this dark. Yeah, and my belly is full. Yahoo! Mine is too. And with smiles on their faces and bellies full of food, the two best mesopals began the journey back down with the rest of their deep sea friends. Happy as can be and ready to do it all again the following evening. The end. Wait, you said that's a true story? So you're telling me that every single night as I watch the sunset over the ocean, there are animals swimming from the deep sea to the surface? Exactly. This is happening every single day. And it's actually the greatest migration on planet Earth. But think beyond this story. It's not just incredibly impressive, it's incredibly important for the health of the entire ocean and our global ecosystem. Remember when Bo was talking about eating detrital snow? This snow is actually the scraps and waste of those animals who are eating at the surface. This migration brings more nutrients down to the deep sea for those animals who choose not to go up. So next time you're watching the sunset, remember the Mezzo Pals. <laughs>